Hello, for today's video, I'm actually really excited because we're going to be talking about peace poles. And it's not something that I think a lot of people know that we have on camp, or maybe you've seen it and just kind of walked by it. Um, but I'm going to talk to you guys about what peace poles mean and why it's so important to have on camp. So hey everybody, to get started today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how peace poles started. Um, they're kind of fun because they're all over the world, they're all over the United States, and if you're ever traveling um, and you see one, it really just, it kind of makes you feel connected a little more and how there's so many different places that people may not know each other, but we're all connected through our peace pole. So starting in the end of World War II, in the 1940s, there were two atomic bombs dropped on Japan. Um, and there was a man who I'll put his name over here because I don't want to um, mispronounce his name. He was very concerned with all the destruction um, and just the really low morale with between the people there. There were really, really hard times being able to come back from the devastation that was caused by those atomic bombs. And so he came up with this, he kind of had this idea of wanting to spread the message of peace. And so he came up with his idea, or not his idea, his phrase, may peace prevail on earth. And he worked really, really hard to spread this message everywhere. And even through all the destruction, he was advocating for just peace. And so there were a lot of people that decided to join him and they were so moved by his message that they wanted to join his efforts and spread it even further. And so randomly, all these peace poles started popping up and they kind of reminded people that there is hope for peace. So fast forward a little bit, in 1986, I believe, there is this International Peace Society that opened up offices in San Francisco and New York, and they brought the ideas of peace poles to the United States. And you'll see that there's every side of the pole, it's a different language, but they all say the same thing, may the world live in peace may peace prevail on earth. And so that's a little bit about peace poles. Um, we have one on camp here and I, this is one of my favorite spots on camp because it's, I think even though it's just, it's a post, you know, it's wood. I think the idea and the symbolism that it carries, the meaning behind this pole, it really just brings a sense of calm um, and a sense of peacefulness here. And so this is a really great place to sit um, and read or journal and sometimes I come here and we've got this grassy patch over here just lay in the grass um, and just really feel that calming peaceful presence that we can have here at camp especially right next to the peace pole um, it's kind of fun there are a few I've seen traveling around Alaska um, I've seen a few other ones and I just think we can all hope for peace you know there's no there's no time where we don't need peace. So I know this wasn't our typical exciting camp activities, um, but this is something that is really special to us here at Birchwood, um, really special to me personally. This is one of my favorite spots. And so I hope when you guys come back to camp, when we get to open again, that you'll kind of know a little bit more and just be able to appreciate our spot a little more.